So I've now showed you how to set up property ownership information. and I've given you a quick run through of what the finances area looks like and how it might perform. In this video, we're going to act as though we are a landlord and we own the property that we're looking to um, get a financial oversight of. So the same as the others, you click the finances button here in quick access and go down to the finances area here. I know that I've set up uh, one of my properties to be owned um, and that is 40 Harvard Road. Um, if you were to have um, a property of your own, um, you just use the drop down list here and either select all properties or just select the property that you're looking to deal with in this example. So 40 Harvard Road is an owned property of mine. I'm the landlord, I own it. Um, I don't pay out any management fees. It is something that I handle by myself. So what I wanna do um, is I want to look at my PNL for the last um, sort of chosen period. I'm gonna select the, um, yeah, probably the 1st of January here um, until today. And I'm gonna click filter. What that will show me um, is the rent that I've collected in that period. So I've collected 7,150 pounds and 32 pence in rent over that period of time. We split that rent out in terms of our view um, by date um, and then by amount, which is hidden under a, um, a concealed area. We can expand that and see a full breakdown. Um, and that is what adds up to that total of 3,630. And all of that rent um, was from the first of the second 23. So that's your rent, that is income to you as a business. Um, what may have happened during that period is you may have had direct expenses. So you may have had to replace a door, you may have had to um, you know, incur some marketing costs, et cetera. And so that is going to help us determine what your profitability looks like as a business and as a landlord owner. To do that, you need to click this add financial button here and then select the property that we're dealing with, which is 40 Harvard Road. And that gives you a few options. Uh, you can add other um, if what you're looking to add doesn't appear here. But in this case, we're going to say um, it was a marketing cost. Um, we're going to say it was photography. Um, we can put a description here and add any additional notes. So we could say, for example, um, you know, we were looking to, um, you know, republish some photos. We've had the back of the house painted and we've got a photographer around to do that. So you can add those notes in uh, just so that anyone with access to the account can have that oversight as well. Um, it doesn't apply to any specific room, although you can do if you want to. The invoice date was um, the 2nd of February. It defaults to today, but that is the date that the invoice uh, was sent to you by the supplier. You now have two options. You can indicate whether you want to record the supplier or not. If you say no, that would be scenarios uh, such as going out and buying a kettle from Tesco. You don't necessarily want to mark Tesco as being a supplier, but you do want to mark the cost just so you can get an oversight of that um, PL. If you do want to record the supplier, that would indicate that it's probably a more uh, common cost, such as painting or such as maintenance, etc. And that's probably going to be a supplier that you have a regular um, and repeat interaction with. So we are going to say yes. We're going to select a um, supplier and record that information against this uh, expense. So we're going to say um, we're going to select it against Snappy, um, who are our photographers. You can add a new supply here as well, but we've got Snappy saved as one of our um, you know saved suppliers. So we click Snappy there. Um, we can upload the invoice uh, to this area here. So any invoice they've sent you, you can simply drag and drop it into that area here and then mark it as being paid or unpaid. I'm gonna say that it was paid. Uh, the total cost was 100 pounds plus VAT. Um, and again, it enters it there. So you'll see now that this will create an expense item of photography for 120 pounds, which is 100 pounds plus VAT. So we'll save it. And now if we go back to the, um, the financial items area here, you'll see that we have an expense item of 100 pounds. Um, worth bearing in mind that this finances area here just shows you your, uh, your cost. It doesn't show uh, VAT, um, it, it's just that base cost. If you want to look at the VAT breakdown and your full profitability breakdown, including VAT, that's when the profitability um, reporting comes into useful. So if we scroll down here to profitability reports, we're going to create a new one for this period. So we're looking at the uh, 1st of January until the 22nd of February. So we're going to create a new profitability report um, from January the 1st up until today. 
um, we're going to select it against this property here, 40 Harvey Road. And we're just going to give it, um, it, by naming convention, it just gives you the date range. You can change it, but we're going to leave it as it is. And we're going to click Save. What that now does is that pulls through that profitability report um, for that property for that period. So for the 1st of January through to the 22nd of February, you see here we've got that marketing um, cost. It categorizes it based on marketing or rent or those categories that are also important. It shows you the, uh, the net. It shows you the VAT amount on top. So it shows you as a business um, what your overall profitability across that period looks like from both an income and an expense. So that's really useful um, for you. Um, you can do that as often as you wish. Most people do it on a monthly or a quarterly basis, and you can set those dates um, to suit you. So as an owner or as a landlord, that is a really useful way to see how you're doing as a business. In the next video, I'll move on to what this looks like as a managing agent, which gets a little bit more detailed because you can start to do things like settlements. But for now, that is managing your finances as a landlord on Coho.